Today we're going to learn about the forest and what animals live inside a forest. There are different kinds of forest. We're going to be talking about the woodland kind of forest. And we'll be able to tell from the pictures inside this nonfiction text. This is nonfiction because it teaches us something. It has real facts and true information. We can tell this by looking at this real for, uh, photograph of this animal. The forest is a habitat. Do you remember what a habitat is? A habitat is the natural home or environment of the living things inside it. A forest is a habitat. It is where plants and animals live. Forest animals have special adaptations. Do you remember what an adaptation is? Let's think about when we talked about deserts. An adaptation of a cactus was that it can soak up lots of water to help it survive in the hot environment it is in. An adaptation is something special that an animal or plant has or does to help them survive in their environment. Adaptations help them live in forests. Birds use hook-shaped bills to open nuts. This is their bill. It's also called a beak, and it helps them to eat. Other birds use thin, curved bills to catch insects. These thin bills might help them reach into somewhere um, tiny or small to get the insects to eat. Ants use strong jaws to cut leaves. So ants have these really strong jaws. They might be very tiny and they're able to cut these leaves to carry it back to their nest. A deer's brown coat helps him to hide. What's that word we use to talk about if something can blend into its surroundings? Camouflage. Porcupines use claws to climb trees. So they have these sharp claws that help them attach to the bark on the tree to climb up them. They also have sharp quills to fight off hunters. Do you see their long quills? When a intruder comes around, those spike out and then they could go into the intruder. So this helps protect them. Squirrels use long front teeth to open acorns. Those strong teeth help them to get the food they need in order to survive. Squirrels use bushy tails. The tails help them land after they leap. These insects look like sticks. This makes them hard to find. Again, they're blending into their surroundings, so they're camouflaging. Bears sleep deeply in the winter when there is less food. Frogs use sticky tongues to catch insects. What other adaptations help, live, help animals live in the forest? Bat adaptations. When flying in a, the dark, a bat sends out a high-pitched sound. The sound bounces off any trees in the bat's path. The sound makes an echo. The bat will fly around trees instead of bumping into them. So because it's dark at night, they can use those echoes, the sounds coming off of them, to help them navigate through the night. It's pretty neat. In this activity, I want you to go to the picture of the forest and draw some animals that we learned about that live in the forest. I would also like you to use the microphone tool to record yourself describing adaptations some of these forest animals have. When you're done, hit the green check button.